Hi you guys, it's Tyler. I know I've been missing for a month and haven't posted. I have been working so much. I've had zero time to do anything other than work. So yes, if you've read the title, I am 25 years old and I have never been in a relationship. I have never even come close to being in one. I have never been in a talking stage with somebody. I've never had someone that I care about or that cares about me. And I wanted to get on and talk about this today because it's kind of been weighing heavy on me recently. I hate that I feel like time is running out because 25, while I still feel old, I know I'm not. And I know 25 is not an old age at all, but I just feel like I'm getting older and I compare my journey a lot to other people's journeys of love and you can't do that. I constantly am seeing my friends and relationships. I'm the only one out of my friend group who does not have a significant other. So it's hard for me when we all hang out because we're all friends, everybody's coupled up and I'm kind of just like the fifth wheel. So I think about it a lot and you know, I thought moving to LA I would have a better chance at dating and love and finding a boyfriend. And I still look every day, but I think I have really high standards. I'm really picky, yet I am really hard on myself. And I mean, I'm sure everyone can relate to this when we're down on ourselves that we're not finding a mate or a significant other. We sort of think to ourselves like, what's What's wrong with us? Am I unattractive? Do I have a bad personality? What is it about me that people are not attracted to? And I don't think we realize that we're in the middle of a pandemic. It's really hard for people to go out and meet safely. We're not meeting people like we were able to because of COVID and we're all inside and we're not on that social level that we were pre-pandemic. Now, on top of that, I think me coming out at the age of 18, that's pretty late for a gay man to come out in life. I mean, better late than never. For the people that know me, my dad came out when he was in his 30s. So I'm glad I came out when I did, but I think that stunted my development when it comes to dating and love because I never had that high school dating experience that a lot of people in my peer group have had. I never had a high school love. I never had my first heartbreak. And I still think about like, how am I gonna react when I have my first heartbreak? I know the day is inevitable. I know I'm gonna have that one day. I just think about all these things and how I have been single for 25 years and I just wonder, will I ever find love? Will I ever have a significant other? And I don't mean to have such a negative way of thinking, but sometimes I think like, will I be single forever? And I don't want to be. But yeah, going back to coming out when I was 18, I didn't have those 18 years when I was in the closet to shop around and have those experiences. And, and I always say I came out when I was 18 and I'm 25 now, so I'm technically only six years old but I, I still look every day for a potential mate and I will say for the first time in my life I'm practicing self-care more than I ever have. I have finally found the courage to go to the gym. I've always been scared of gym settings and just intimidated by all the straight men there and working out and thinking that I'll look stupid. I finally have pushed past that and for the first time in my life I'm going three to four times a week so I'm channeling all that energy into working on my Myself and working on my mental health and working on my body for the first time, you know, doing all those things to work on myself so that hopefully some man out there will see that and be attracted to that. And when you focus inward, you attract others. I'm trying to rebuild my confidence as a gay man. Moving to LA, I kind of thought would fix all my problems and maybe I thought it would be a lot easier to find a gay man here than it was in Santa Barbara. And it is because there was zero gay community in Santa Barbara, but I guess it just didn't happen as fast as I would have liked it to. And so I constantly am thinking, when will I find a man? And I truthfully have never even been on a date with somebody. So I'm just trying to remind myself that my day will come. I can't compare my journey to somebody else's. I'm on my own path and own trajectory in life. And the more self-care and self-love I give myself, hopefully that energy will be reciprocated to me and the universe will finally present myself with the man that I've always dreamed of. I've just got to focus on myself and just be myself. I'm done trying to pretend to be someone else to fit someone else's approval. Another thing that I think 
is hard when it comes to being a gay man and dating as a gay man. My femininity is brought up a lot in a negative sense, meaning I'm always told that men will not be interested in me because I wear lip gloss or because I wear makeup. And I'm tired of that narrative because those are things that I, as a gay man, enjoy doing and have the freedom to do. And when I get told you need to stop wearing the lip gloss because a man won't be attracted to that, half of me wants to listen to them and stop wearing it or doing things like that that will accentuate my femininity. But on the other hand, I think to myself, fuck that. I want to represent myself as freely as I can. And I don't live for other people's approval. If I were to do that, I would waste my time and energy and my life trying to please other people. And I did that for 18 years. I'm just over that and nobody should have to do that. So the other half of me is like, well, if they're not interested in something as simple as wearing lip gloss, then they're not the one for me and I don't want them. I don't want anybody that doesn't want me. Maybe one day I'll come across somebody who will love me for me and won't care about things like that because that's something I enjoy doing and I'm not ashamed of that. I won't be defined by what other people think of me. So this was a quick little video, but I just had to get those thoughts off my chest. Thank you guys for watching as always. To the people out there who actually support not only my YouTube channel, but me as a person, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I wouldn't be able to do it without that unconditional love and support. So thank you, truly. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you like what you see here, subscribe, stick around, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one.